So at first when I saw you Didn't think you remember my name Hey guys, Assalamualaikum. Welcome back to today's video. Thank you for coming back to my channel. I am gonna be showing you guys a demo on Silky Girl Full Bloom Shadow Quad and also Moisture Rich Lip Color. So these two products are the newest from Silky Girl now. I am super excited to show you guys everything about this. I'm sure you guys are pretty excited as well. Be sure you guys subscribe to my channel, like and share this video. This review would be meaningful for you guys. So let's get down to their products. Let's start off with this beautiful eyeshadow palette. So this one called Silky Girl Full Bloom Shadow Quad in the shade Lavender Bloom. And there are actually four shades available for this kind of palette. I purposely picked up this one. I am really attracted to the color selection from this, especially this purple glittery shade. This is such a beautiful color, but I don't know how the texture looks like. This is my very first time trying out all this product. And I do have a few more colors from this lipstick, so watch this video until the end of it. Yes, there will be a swatches for this lipstick. Let's get to know a little bit about this Bloom eyeshadow palette. So it has intense matte, iridescent sparkles and glowing shimmers. Creamy smooth and easy to blend, rich pigments and long wearing. Let's do some swatches for this guy right here. So I'm gonna swatch on my hand so you guys can see clearly from this video. This is kind of peachy nude color and it's kind of matched with my shawl right here. Okay, how about this? I picked up everything with my fingers since that is just a quad palette. So yeah, it's very very handful, travel friendly, but it doesn't have mirror. So yeah, it really really depends on us. Yeah, most of Silky Girl product will come in a kind of cute packaging travel friendly packaging and i do love them these are the color payoff on my fingers okay so that's just one swipe that i did just now and it's kind of chalky for this sparkly and glittery finish oh my god the color is like bersipa so i do really need to put loose powder on my under eyes it's not too bad actually for matte color. It's easily blend and this one as well. Yeah, yeah, it's kind of buildable I would say. So this is how it looks like as I blend with my finger. It's so sheer, so nice. Okay, I am super ready for doing a demo for you guys. Honestly, they have real nice selection of colors right here. Let's start off. I'm gonna pick up the matte color first for sure. I'm gonna pick up this matte color first. Alright, so probably I will use everything in this palette. It's just four colors by the way. Yeah, I think it's a crime if you are not using all of them for this video, right? Okay, so let's start off with the crease. Okay, easily blend. That's nice, but it's so very sheer. And if you have a kind of medium skin tone or medium dark skin tone, maybe this color will not showing off really good. So um, yeah, it's not for medium dark skin tone. We still can work out this color, but yeah, it's so very sheer. Like how I did right now, it could be multi-purpose for doing a blush. So I will use this later on. So let's run this color on my lower lash line. It's really really important to take off the excess when you're doing eyeshadow. Okay, so please do take note about that. Okay, that's it. Not much color payoff from this peach color. Okay, let's run the peach color on the other eye. I'm gonna use the same brush for these colors. So let's head on with this first. Then we can go for that one. This is my second product that I've tried from Silky Girl. I mean trying on for this video. So the first product was their Red Velvet eyeshadow palette and that was really good as well. Yeah, there are a few colors that are kind of a little bit chalky. I will link down below the video of that. Ok, 
Okay, so that's it. I can't go for more for this one. So let's just accept that this is so sheer. Let's move on with the other color. I'm picking up this shade. Yeah, look at the texture. It's kind of buttery compared to the peach one. So yeah, this amazed me so much. Going on so smooth, easy to blend as well. I'm gonna create something that is a little bit romantic since that the color selections are more to purplish, pinkish, peach. Yeah, this is what I want for this video. How I wish it has a mirror for this palette, but it's a drugstore product, so we can't expect more. Let's just accept on what we have right now. This is so sure. I'm feeling like this product is so suitable for beginner. There is no fallout for these two colors, and that impressed me. That's how it goes. So natural, so easy to blend. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with this. I'm gonna try out the glittery colors. So, what colors should I go for first? I guess I should start off with this purple. I'm gonna use my finger for this process. It's a little bit chalky and it reminds me of their previous eyeshadow palette from the Red Velvet palette. There is one color that is a little bit chalky. Let's pray that it did its best. Oh. That goes on really smooth. We need to be like really lightly and gently dab it. Okay, such a beautiful shade and it doesn't really have fallout actually. So I am impressed considering that the texture looks kind of chalky. We can't really judge. So I'm gonna proceed with the other eye. blend a little bit okay this is so sparkly and beautiful it's a must have for you guys to try on the quality is impressive as well there is no fallout from what i've seen on this part okay so i am gonna pat this pink shade on my tear ducts so let's move on with this so beautiful and reflective yeah i do love this kind of quality to be honest and i'm bringing this color a little bit around here as well okay let's proceed with eyelashes and everything i'll be right back with you guys okay guys everything is almost done right here and i'm loving my eye makeup look for today it looks so stunning. I mean, look at the colors. They are so romantic, so sparkly, so beautiful. I want to make this shade useful for the other purpose. Let's run this on the cheeks. Lightly, gently smudge on the cheeks. Oh my god. Okay, I'm taking back my words about the fallout of this eyeshadow colors. Actually, they do have fallouts for the sparkle one. So I as you guys can see, there is a little bit of sparkle happening on my nose right here. So I'm just gonna remove it with the brush. So that's how we do it. It's not too obvious. Okay, luckily it's the pink one. Alright, this color is so sure, so suitable for blush. So you might want to try this for your own. This is kind of multi-purpose, I guess. It's not too vibrant and I love it. A little bit of highlight on my cheekbones. This is not from Silky Girl. Okay, that should do it. Everything looks perfect. I'm such a happy woman right here, having a good makeup on my face, on my eyes. Okay, as I promised, I will do swatches for Silky Girl Moisture rich lip color. Yeah, I'm super excited for this. So let's get to know a little bit about this product. It is a long wearing lipstick that moisturizes while delivering a bright splash of color on your lips. It's formulated with mulberry oil, jojoba oil, and vitamin E to protect your lips, keeping them soft and supple with a healthy balance of moisture level. So they have vivid colors, all day hydration, 
creamy yet lightweight for all day comfort, alcohol free, fragrance free and carmine free. Let's start off with the first shade that I'm going to be showing you guys. This is number 3, Dazzle. Talking about this packaging, it is so beautiful, so cute. So if you are a fan of pink color, you might want to have this for yourself. Yeah, and then the product will come out just like that. It has silky girl pattern engraved. Let's try out this one. I haven't tried out anything of this collection. And this is the color pigmented. Yes, it is pigmented and kind of creamy. I just removed my lip gloss, so let's try out this product on its own. So very moisturizing. And this color though, it's beautiful. It's good if you have kind of dry lips and you want to go for something that can hydrate your lips, this is the one. You don't need to go for any lip primer or lip balm underneath it. This is so comfortable, so smooth. A very lightweight texture. I'm loving this. But definitely this is not kiss proof, not mask proof. Let's compare with the website. Does it look the same or not? Okay, what color is this again? This is Dazzle. So this is how it looks like from the website. Not much different, I guess. That looks pretty much the same. So I am happy with this. And this is such a good reference too. So good job. Let's try out the other color. So let's remove this. Super easy to remove. The next shade is number one, Naked. I should have started with this one. But never mind. By the way, I purchased all these directly from Watson. And they do have the products from Shopee website as well. So I will be linked down below. This is the shade number one. Okay, this is such a pretty nice color. Kind of like a rosy pink color. So let's do it. I definitely love this one more. Such a pretty nice shade, seriously. This is much more suitable with this whole makeup look. This is far more better than the previous one. So let's compare with the website. Does it look good? Look the same? Okay, again, this is the shade Naked. This is how it looks like. A little bit mauve right here. I think this one has more color payoff than what I have on my lips. Yeah, I just realized that. So it's not much different. I guess still look beautiful though and I guess this is a must-have shades really the next one is the shade taupe I guess this is a must-have as well and it probably match with every skin tones oh, I mean look at that it's so very chocolatey brown it's everything and the color itself so vibrant so bold so perfect for every skin tones but it's a little bit off with this eye makeup look i don't know that's just my thought let's talk about this lip color this is such a nice color to pull off for dark skin tone seriously it will look so nice let's compare with the website does it look good does it look nice so this is the shade taupe it looks so similar so i am loving this reference it's so helpful yeah, it makes me happy to see something that is helpful especially according to the pictures moving on to the next one this is the shade bear i've been eyeing for this shade as i first saw it launch on the website super excited to try out this and this looks like more milky and chocolatey that looks so beautiful Oh my god, oh my god you guys, this is a must-have shade. I'm loving this. You know I'm pretty crazy about nude lip colors, so this is so beautiful. Good job, Silky Girl. This is really beautiful. Okay, looking at the website right now, that's how it looks like. I think I have more peachy undertone on my lips, but this is like totally brown. I guess it's not really similar I guess but it's not too misleading so suitable for light to medium skin tone last but not least this is the shade number 10 mystic and yes let's watch this one I think this is the boldest one among the others maybe 
Dude, that's how it looks like. Such a pretty color. What? This is really a thing. Alright, I guess I just found the one that is so suitable with this whole makeup look. It's kind of like mauve purple color. I'm loving this. I love it. I love it so, so much. So, that is all the color swatches that I have. But wait, let's see how it looks like from the website. What number is this? It's number 10. This one looks more darker than what I have on my lips. But it still looks beautiful and doesn't disappoint me so much. Okay, that was it. That is all the color swatches that I have for Moisture Rich Lip Color from Silky Girl. Talking about this palette again, I'm loving this palette. It's so beautiful. Nicely blend on the eyes. But there are two colors which have fall out. These two colors. So you might want to be careful with kind of sparkle finish from this palette. They do have a kind of earthy color selection for this bloom palette so you just can check out from their website. I'll be linked down below as well. Just click right there. I'm so so happy with the review that I did in this video. I'm amazed with everything that I've tried. I'm amazed with this lipstick as well. It's so very lightweight to be honest. And I guess this is the perfect one for this whole makeup look since that I have kind of purplish eye makeup color. And this one looks more mauve purple, I guess. So yeah, yeah, everything looks nicely done. If you think that these lip swatches helped you a lot, I really want to know, should I do the rest of the colors or not? So just let me know. If I receive more than 10 comments saying that, yes, please do the swatches, I will do that. But if I don't, I will think about it. Again, thank you so much for watching this review. Until the end of it, I'm truly happy sharing this with you guys and hopefully this will help you a lot. I'm pretty sure you guys want to try this collection from Silky Girl. So please just head on to their store, to their website and just get it for yourself. I'll see you guys in the next video. Take good care of yourself and stay safe.